Hello teachers, I am Prachi Pasalkar from Aysar Pune and today I am here to discuss a lesson plan made by Mrs. Yogini Mahadarkar from Nyan Prabodhini Prashala Pune. She has made this lesson plan in collaboration with Science Activity Center Aysar Pune. She has also conducted this lesson with her students and have shared her experiences with us. We will be also discussing those today. Students may forget what they hear but they will not forget what they do or experience. There is a famous saying by Confucius, I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. So, teaching using hands-on activities is always very effective and it helps students to understand and retain the concepts very well. So, welcome to this physics video lesson plan on a very interesting topic of magnets and magnetic field. Students learn these concepts in their 8th and 10th class. We have tried to make this lesson interactive and activity based. So let's start with our first activity. For this we will need a piece of CD, 6 ring magnets, a pen, a rubber foam sheet of size 12.5 cm by 7 cm and a cutter. Make cuts on the foam sheet at 1 cm, 4.5 cm and 10.5 cm. Fix the piece of CD here. Insert two ring magnets in a pen. The orientation of their poles does not matter. Orient the poles of the magnet such that the two magnets placed closer to the CD attract the front magnet of the pen and the two magnets placed farther from the CD repel the magnets on the pen. Adjust the position of the magnets so that the pen just floats above them. Give it a twist and you can see the pen spinning too. Isn't it amazing? This is a very interesting activity and after this activity you can ask students the following questions. Why do you think the pen floats and rotates? If you reverse the polarity of the magnets, will the pen still float and rotate? You can also discuss the working of magnetic levitation chain or the maglev chain. You can introduce the concept of magnetic field lines and polarities using the next activity. And for this we need a bar magnet, a compass, a piece of paper and a pen. Place a bar magnet in the middle of the paper. Place the compass at one pole of the magnet. Draw a dot along the direction of the needle. Place the compass on the dot. Again draw another dot along the direction of the needle. Continue the procedure till you reach the other end of the magnet. Connect the dots. Repeat the above steps. You will now have an accurate representation of the magnetic field lines around the bar magnet. This is an easy activity. While doing this activity, you can ask students at which direction the compass is pointed at and have a discussion on magnetic field lines. Normally, students have used bar magnets and they are aware of magnetic lines of force. Our next activity explains magnetic fields of various shapes of magnets. This is a very interesting activity which students can do on their own. For this, we will need a magnet, iron filings, a sheet of stiff paper. Place the stiff paper over a magnet so that the iron filings can be easily separated later. The advantage of this activity is the iron filings help us see the magnetic field lines which is an abstract concept. After this activity, I ask the students that what they can conclude from the pattern of the iron filings and why do more iron filings stick to the poles than to the center. Students were curious to know magnetic fields of various shapes of magnets. So they did this activity with different shapes of magnets like a square, a ring, a disc and a star and many more. You can summarize the topic by asking the following questions to the students. What are properties of a magnet? What are magnetic field lines? And how can you determine the direction of a magnetic field at a point due to a magnet? You are given a bar magnet and a rectangular bar. How will you check 
whether the given bar is a magnetic substance or a non-magnetic substance. Why does the compass needle get deflected when brought near the magnet? Why do any two magnetic lines or poles do not intersect each other? Where along the magnetic field lines is the magnetic force the strongest? You can ask the following questions as homework. Make a list of magnetic substances in your surroundings. Can you classify magnets into strong and weak magnets? And where are they used? Hope this helps you to make your teaching engaging. There are more interesting activities related to this concept. A detailed lesson plan link is given in the description box below. Thanks for watching.